Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. Yeah, I'm looking a little interesting right now. I actually just got done taking a shower and washing my hair and I'm going to do, um, oh, by the way, I haven't done one of these in a while. Welcome to Ready to Go Outside or Get Ready With Me series. Um, <laughs> And um, yeah, I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, I'm not going to do, I'm gonna try to make these a little bit more shorter form so you could kind of see the steps and the finished product. Um, I am trying something different, something new. And um, I'm hoping I don't take too long. I am doing, I'm getting a real late start, starting at nine o'clock. And um, it should take me about probably 20 minutes to dry my hair. And then I have to do the prepping. Like I have to do fake, um, corn rolls and then crochet. But the crochet should not take nearly as long because this time around, let me show you what the crochet is going to be. Just when you thought your girl was done being blonde. <laughs> no. So we're going to mix this together and it's going to be kind of looking more like this. So we got, and we're going to try to highlight it. We're probably, I think the goal is we're going to do probably every other and this is going to be the vibe and so it's going to be kind of a decent length actually now that i think about it i wasn't sure what i was going to be giving but that's what we're going to do i wanted to wait and hold off to see if i was going to do this or i was going to do more of the loose crochets again but i'm deciding i'm going to do this because the weather's finally cooling down and i'm actually going somewhere cooler next weekend um next week so that's usually a hint I do my hair at this point. I'm, I've tried to lay off on doing as many of the um, protective styles because truthfully, honestly, um, my hair is thinning out because I was doing it too frequently. Um, because again, I'm fairly new to doing my own hair um, when it comes to the protective styles and crocheting and braids and stuff like that. I used to just get it done, but I learned on YouTube University during the pandemic and just haven't looked back and that's what I've been doing. And so a lot of trial and error as a result has happened with that. Um, and one of the things I was doing, rookie mistake, was I was braiding my hair too tight and just causing bumps and all this other stuff. And I was incorporating my edges in there a little too much too. So I was causing myself some um, basically braid related alopecia. Um, <laughs> so. I've done the steps to try to get my hair back to where it needs to be. My hair is, again, it's a lot more manageable, but you can kind of see here, this is where I started having the problems. Um, it's, grow it's growing back, so it's not as bad as it was at the beginning of the year when I was doing the protective styles a lot. And also the other thing I started doing as well is I don't do them as frequently and I don't keep them in as long. Um, the most I have kept any protective style in is three weeks because that's about as long as I can go for me without doing a, a real good wash wash um, with the hair without the hair um, I do have braid shampoo braid, braid conditioner like dry shampoo and stuff like that that I use very regularly to keep the scalp nice and clean because of how active I am um, but you know, the protective styles are not necessarily the best for um, you if you don't maintain them, if you're an active girl. I'm an active girl um, as far as like, you know, fitness and all that. So with great <laughs> awesomeness, when it comes to prot protective styles comes responsibility. But anyway, you're not here for this and my hair is about to like dry out. Oh no, I don't want that. So, um, this is probably the most I'm going to be talking in the video itself. I'm going to voice over the rest of like what I'm doing and we're going to go in and out of this. So yeah, enjoy. So first things first, um, I am right now, I am um, parting my hair into sections so I can blow dry it. And all the products I'm using, by the way, are my L um, hair products. Um, if you have checked out any of my Ready to Go Outside series, where I'm doing my hair before you already know that's like the product I use for almost everything like I love that product but I am trying a new product um the one that you see in the middle which was like kind of like a 
mango looking kind of um, color so the orange color product that is brand new and um, so this is gonna be the first time I've ever used that and then also the heat protector is also gonna be the first time I'm using that um, in the past I've used a different product for the heat protector but at this point I've been trying to like stay with the same brand when it comes to all my um, hair care so that um, I can be consistent and hopefully I get the results I'm looking for but just a heads up on that and then once I do part in sections you'll see me blow dry it but I did speed up the video quite a bit because I don't think you need to see it me doing it in real time so there's that. So at this point of um, the video, I'm almost I'm almost at the point where I'm done. I'm blow drying my hair, and one thing I will say about my hair that I've noticed because I don't actually add a lot of heat to my hair often, and I think that was also the other reason why my hair was not happy with me after last year and all the uh, multiple protective styles. Because as you notice, I have to blow dry my hair in order to do that, and I don't really do that. I'm a usually wash and go kind of girl. If I don't do um, basically the um, protective styles because I don't really straighten my hair often either but anyway neither here nor there but one thing I was going to mention though is that my hair looks so much like healthier like it feels healthier and I will say this that new product that I added oh yeah that is a game changer my hair feels so soft I feel no split ends like everything feels soft so I guess whatever I've been, whatever changes I've been making with my hair um, care the past year or so is paying off. So there's that.
So, I don't know if you can hear me right now, but like, so for me straighten my hair and blow drying it, well, I didn't straighten it, I actually stretched it. That took about an hour, well, that took about half an hour for me to do. And then this, to do this took me about another hour. So we're at 11 o'clock right now. I'm hoping I'll be done putting this in by like 12.30, 1 o'clock. Because braids take less time. We'll see. But I will see in a little bit. Um, or no, or not. So let me get this stuff ready to go. Got my thing here. Got my crochet <laughs> equipment. We'll see how this goes. I'm a little nervous because I definitely went light on how many of these I put together. And I try not to go too tight. This is a little tight right here. I'm about to try this. It's loose everywhere except for one, except for right here at this spot. So I need to maybe adjust this a little bit. I don't know how or why I made one spot of this super tight. I'm trying to fix it though. There we go. I think I loosened it. Anyway, so this. So we're gonna do. Every other, that's the game plan. So as far as getting the crochets done and putting them in, it actually did take me a little bit longer than what I expected. Um, I got done at about 1.30 versus it being 12.30, 1, 1 o'clock. But it was also because I was filming. And also, um, it did not account for me getting, being tired doing it. So it, um, but I did get done as you, as you can see, hopefully. Um, this was a little bit of a better, more viewable form of this um, Ready to Go Outside series. I kind of wanted to speed up the in-between process and wanted to, um, yeah, show you what I've been up to. Letting you know, I'm still doing the protective styles. I'm just not doing them nearly as much and why. So anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. like this for about mm, I'm give it two weeks and then we're gonna be done with the hair being like this but we're back to blonde for a little bit and actually this is super light and not too itchy I can pull this back for when I'm running I can pull it up so I'm pretty excited I have plenty of options of what I could do as far as my hair is concerned so yeah this is the look the finished product and it's gonna look real good when I do my when I do the makeup too. But yeah, this is the hair. And this will probably only look good for a little bit because again, you know, the way I did it, it just is what it is. Um, I decided to switch it up on how I do it normally. I do the corn rolls this way and then that way, but I don't know, I just decided to switch it up. And so yeah. And then I'm doing the part, I always do the part on this side for whatever reason. But anyway, um, yeah, but that does conclude the video. I just wanted you to see my get ready with me. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner, and I will see you next time. Bye!